Okay, take three. Welcome to Dungeon Munchies. If it loads. Right. So what bothers me about this game so far is the fact that you don't get options until you're actually in the game. And then there's the resolution. Because for some reason, it doesn't respect my resolution scaling. It automatically defaults the full screen. But yeah, Dungeon Munchies. So, uh, I think it was originally Chinese, Japanese, something. But yeah, it seems m very word I'm looking for. American. <laughs> oh wow, I couldn't even think of that. In its style. Okay, that's just weird. Well, look at his legs go. Don't know why there's no music. But anyway. Okay, now there's music. Hi, I'm Matt, and I want to teach you about Dungeon Survival. You're feeling very hungry now. Don't worry, it's a very special feeling that goes inside every zombie when they come out of the ground. But over time, if you don't take care of that special feeling, it can cause serial organ failure. That's why you need to eat. I'm here now because I made a mistake and forgot to follow Simmer's instructions. I wish I'd listened better. We'll find some food and take care of that special feeling. Don't be like Matt. Don't become a scout. Out of reach. Basically, it's sort of like XP, but yet not. We get points for doing stuff. Or so we can jump. That's a thing we could do. Now we found a plastic bag. It's finally entered dimensional power to keep your groceries for fresh. Could you know? Why not? There's no sound to refrigerator, so we can't get food here. There's a tab opens our inventory, so we can see things. Like right now, all we have is the plastic bag. So this here is basically. I guess it's sort of an RPG, but it's basically a. Uh, action platformer. I'd say more than an RPG. But there are some RPG elements to it. If we're getting blade grass, could be useful. Hey, I'm Megan, and I also want to show my survival experiences. Did you know that to many creatures, zombies are actually a healthy and delicious source of food? I did, and look what happened to me. This dungeon is for creatures that discriminate against the undead. Nobody wants to show the food. Most creatures just want to eat me. If I could try this again, I'd want to get a weapon like a stick or something to protect myself. Hi, tree. Oh, are you human? How interesting. My bet's not as interesting as my big branch, huh? I've absorbed so many nutrients. Just check out how jacked this branch is. I'm going to use it to beat you into a fertilizer. On guard. Uh oh. The tiff. It's too heavy. It's gonna break. Ugh. That poor tree. It'll, it'll, it'll grow back. The tree was going to happen with its branch. But that tree <laughs> broke its branch off. Brandon here with more of your top 10 hundred. Oh god, we're going that style now, aren't we? 
It would be far less hard to congratulate you for making it out of here. Very few assignments have made it here in one piece, but you can thank Zimmer for putting you together so well. Anyway, you should start off with Big Mozzie. Mozzie. Mozzie's? Bet number 10. If you're a zombie suffering from delivering hunger, you might want to try the local protein rich dose of Big Mozzie's. The mosquitoes, by the way. J just say mosquitoes. They can't even taste like shrimp if you just imagine it. But watch out because they need to be cooked. If you eat them raw, your stomach will fill with ale, and will explode. Yikes. So, so, I can't tell what's up there. Don't know if it's even possible to get over there. Hmm. I can't talk to you, but I can break off that. I got the tree snots. Great. Which I can throw at things. You can have it make colony or parts, but because of, but because of there's kind of insurance just because there's kind of a short skill of labor down here. I create you to do the job. For example, do you know why you can't eat raw mozzies? Because boom! All that wood matches don't blow your head up if you don't cook it properly. Is it possible to learn this power with bare magical dishes that are delicious and safe, you ask? Not from an amateur. That's why you need a limited edition hardcover copy of my introduction to magical cuisine. You made it here with me, you're the smartest zombie so far. I'm sure you'll learn correctly. I need to step away for a bit to literally put some employees together. In the meantime, stay that work and study well. Bon appetit. <laughs> so now then. Look at all the stuff we can go through. But firstly, we must cook. The mosquito. It also gives us wings for double jump. And we also unlock all these other recipes. Like mean grilled fish. Grilled shrimp. Happy Grass Rose, which is clearly, clearly not what you're thinking. Clearly not that. Clearly just comes from Happy Leaves. Snail Carpaccio? Carpaccio? Something. Fried Banana. This one here, I never th I don't think I ever found this one. But anyway, we have stuff to do. Born Dungeon Survivor by Kyle. So we kept everyone to find a pot to cook with. I'm not really sure what that entails. I was very hungry, so I ate those mosquitoes wrong. I then proceeded to explode. Oh, there you go. Let 
without touching the hips. Stop that. <laughs> so now I have a small branch, which could be used as a secondary weapon if I could remember buttons. Oh wait, you can't equip weapons from the inventory. You have to go over to this. So you could just... So now we can equip a small branch. So now we have branches for days. However, we're going to get this. Be nice having that too, but we need wood. We don't actually have that. So now we have a blade grass sword, which is a melee weapon with a wide range attack. There's quite a few things to craft. Generally, the game's going to want you to be using swords, because there's so many sword abilities that you can get. But then there's also axes and daggers and shields and spears. Spears are pretty great, though. Anyway. Onwards. To the beginner's forest. There's a this. A small and outhill. For some, employee safety is of utmost importance. When a worker dies on the job, they will be resurrected at the cost of the company. That way, all employees are empowered to work for eternity without killing the world. Most of my window is open. So outside noises like birds and shit. Oh, fish. Yay. Back hill. Back hill, you dick. strategy for finding missing team members. I'm not sure if you can actually tell him about that. So. And he just repeats himself. One. New way over hill. Welcome to the official training camp. What's so hard to prepare for? Let's get all you down the hill, rush the cars. The most work anyone's done this week. Don't mind the turret near the entrance. I'm thinking about cleaning that soon. This entrance is full of magical creatures. You get all sorts of magical powers when you eat them. But you're probably dying if you don't hurt them. What's the right way to season the fake tower? How do you even eat a slime? The only way to know is to read my complete words. Gave you the first one, but this isn't some kind of birth giveaway. You have to work for the rest. I have to believe in you. Can't wait to see you struggle through the challenges facing you. Don't get too cocky. Start with three basics. Monster hunting, breeding, collecting, and mm, food cooking. As your supervisor, I'll be working hard supervising you from here. Get to work. As the only plan of material naturally accredited to the next amount, it's only natural for my employees to have the best benefits. See, back in the day, I made a killing of resurrecting awful world. Office workers. A dead workforce is an inefficient workforce. That's my core value proposition. See that large recycling bin next to me? For Clyde Fury, I'm a corpse to send for spell on a bunch of these. Over you, good cop, and for that. 
Blend it or digest it. Close the bin and collect your remains and encryption will you put you back to work. Don't worry about the dirt and enter it. Someone will take care of it one day. Sanitation is our priority. We're just a bit lacking in manpower and morale. By magic upgrade, your digestion is better, so you should be able to process more foods than the regular hill. Little dirt hill? That shouldn't be a problem for you. Saying in the nicest, most roundabout way, I think she expects you to eat it. Please forgive her, as a spirit, she can't pick anything up. Uh uh, what? It's your job to begin with. Okay. Then I'll just eat the pigs. So, we can now have the mean grilled fish, which only has one purpose to increase our movement speed in water. Which isn't really that useful in the long run. But, you know, we now have a fish tail to go with our wings. This is basically the, what is it? It lets you teleport places. Fun times. Anyway, see this cute little shrine? I've also applied a fully unmanned teleportation spell to a bunch of these. You can activate them by offering your prayers. Activated shrines can then take you to other activated shrines. Isn't that convenient? The spell actually just tells you to beds. We then carry a bitch to the new shrine and put you together. That's essentially what a teleportation spell does. It's more cost effective than this one. It don't offer healthcare on ho or holidays, but all the benefits should have made this a great place to work. No holidays. <laughs> Okay. And here's our... We can make... That now. <laughs> or if you really want to, we can make a wooden shield. But... Now we have... That dual build. I... I can the weapon crafter, the boss created me to make weapons, but there's nobody to make weapons for. I'm starting to have serious existential, existential concerns. For example, how can I be a weapon crafter if I haven't made any weapons yet? Wait, do you need a weapon? I think I can be of assistance. Why don't I give you the stuff on the track? Because they're not weapons, they're just PVC displays. Please don't move them. Cut the degenerate responsible for that mess up there. Nope, I haven't seen anyone or anything take a dump out here. It just shows up by itself every day. I think it can regenerate itself. And repeat. It's a, actually sort of useful to talk to everyone through all the conversations because you get points. Yay, points. Yay, trees and murder. Or whatever these things are. The unfortunate thing, though, is... Those hurt. But we need that stuff.
find the shrimp. Ow. Ow. Dead. I forgot I can dodge from the wind. Watch a lot faster underwater. Using the same, introducing to an enemy, making you fight the enemy con for the several rooms, whilst tossing over enemy to the same area into it. I like doing that for some reason. It's like you end up fighting like shrimp, then you fight shrimp and snaps, then you fight sh shrimp and Wow, is relevant. It's obviously taking quite a bit of damage, but now it doesn't matter because we've hit one of the recycling bins, which gives us all of our health back. That's a Also, honey. I'm a banana. Eat me. Don't hesitate. Did you watch into my rally playing tricks on me? I want to be eaten. Eat me. So now I have a banana. It's filled with a sense of purpose and satisfaction. And now we're introduced to toads. Toads are actually pretty dangerous for a dog. Let's demonstrate it in your eyes. They have multiple attacks. Get banana again. So we very need banana again. Uh, Freaking toads. That means we can get more. Wait, how the hell did I get up? I don't exactly know. Oh well.
even more of everything. So insane this. Thankfully we don't take damage. Dragon fruit farm, 200 meters ahead. It's not an invitation, entry prohibited. Thank you for cooperation. Alright, can now do. can now cook again. So, increase our mass of my entry by 50 points. I don't see why not. We can only have a uh, certain amount of number of abilities. The happy grass rose increases on the speed of the Could be useful. Bananas. Hmm. Toad poison. Uh, I think I want that. And the toad poison. And. Man, let's get the five down. There we go. So it's full for now. Yep, but now we look even more silly. There's a craft things like an axe, which would be more damage. Might be a bit of, you know, short range, though. Yeah. And... Can't really get any good... I think any snare shots? Probably not. Can't get any real secondary weapons yet, so... Oh, well. Anyway, that's time we'll deal with that. Hope you all enjoyed, thank you all, and have a nice day.